Yo, what is good, YouTube? Krishan checking back in with another video. The prejudging has concluded at the 2023 New York Pro, and this is looking like your top five from the prejudging. So from left to right, we have Eric Wood, Stuart Sutherland, Tony O'Burden, Joe Seaman, and Joseph Kovic. And this is pretty much what I was expecting to see as far as the top five outside of Eric Wood, who is coached by Patrick Tour. I was expecting Max Charles to be in that spot, but shout out to Eric. This guy looked really good on Instagram leading into this show. But for the sake of this video, we are going to take a closer look at the top two of Stuart Sutherland versus Tony O'Burden. And when I first saw these images, I thought, Stuart is massive. And as I said going into this show, Stuart has Tony about probably 20, maybe even 30 pounds. But Tony o still has an amazing shape. And as far as these pictures go, huge shout out to Flex Magazine. But they favor Stuart more than they favor Tony o. He's somewhat at a bad angle. But let me know in the comment section below over the course of this video. Who do you guys think is going to win the New York Pro? But we are going to go through these shots very quickly and just get a rough estimate for who's winning going into the finals. Now, in this front last spread shot, regardless of the angle, this is definitely a Tony O'Burden shot. I believe this may be one of Stewart's worst shots because his waist does not look the best in this shot in specific, but it looks pretty good in the admin thigh shot. And as I was saying going into this show, Tony O'Burden really pushed conditioning, and to me personally, it does look like he's a little bit down in size, but definitely better condition and more details. Do you guys like this look from Tony O'Burden, or do you like seeing him a little bit bigger? Now taking a look at this side chest pose. Again, the angle really favors Stewart. He looks massive in this shot. We really can't even see Tony O fully. But Tony o does have that crazy bubbly muscle. At the time that this shot was taken, I think Stewart looks great. But I think Tony o has too much round, bubbly muscle and just too much detail for him in this shot. Now, let's take a look at the back double bicep. And I was really impressed with Stewart Sutherland in this shot. I think Tony o is a lot more impressive in this shot when he's a little bit bigger. Take a look at the traps of Stewart Sutherland. Lower body for lower body. Tony o has tighter glutes. Looks like Stewart has more detail in the hamstrings. And I thought Stewart would really lose some ground from behind, but honestly, it looks like he's holding his own against Tony o Burton. Now let's take a look at this real last spread. Again, the camera angle really favors Stewart. I believe if this shot was straight on, Tony o's shape would just be a little bit too much for him in this shot. And Stewart is already bigger than Tony o, and in a lot of these shots, he's stepping ahead of the line, making himself look even bigger in comparison. But overall, I really like Tony O'Burn in this real last spread. Now, let's take a look at this side tricep pose. And this is going to be a Tony O'Burn shot all day. I think that Stewart has to get more comfortable hitting this shot, maybe even changing the execution. I would like to see more detail in the side leg, and especially in the glutes. Tony O could control the midsection better. And of course, as we all know, he needs a little bit more chest to back thickness in the side poses. But as far as him versus Stewart, Tony O definitely has this shot. Now, let's take a look at this ab and thigh shot. And to me personally, I don't think either of these guys has a world-class ab and thigh. Take a look at the separation in the quads of Tony O'Burden. Upper body for upper body, I would say that Tony o has better abs. But for some reason, I definitely prefer Stewart in the upper body. I think it's because he's executing this pose a little bit better than Tony O'Burden. However, he could be sitting on his quads a little bit better. But let me know in the comment section below. Who do you guys prefer in this shot? Maybe Tony o because he has more detail. And let's go ahead and finish up this prejudging video here with the most muscular. Take your pick, guys. Even though Stewart is stepping way ahead of the line here, the most muscular shot should go to the most muscular guy. But take a look at Tony o Burton. I just can't get over that round, bubbly muscle and also the conditioning and detail that he has. Even though Tony o isn't really flexing his quads in this most muscular shot. But let me know in the comment section below, who do you guys think will win the New York Pro? Overall, I still think Tony O is too bubbly, too conditioned, too much detail, but I do think that Stuart Sutherland stacked up very well, actually a lot better than what I was expecting him to do. But as always, I hope you guys did indeed enjoy this video. I did not record this video from my home, so hopefully the audio isn't bad. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'm Krishan from Go Fitness and that's it. I'm out.